Hello buddy, English Woodsman here, welcome to my YouTube channel and most of all thank you very much for clicking on my video. I'm out in the woodland today, I know my last two videos on my channel have been about my new tent, but today I'm going to be doing some of what I really am starting to enjoy and that's a little bit of woodland cooking. Now you probably tell by the thumbnail picture, one pound 11 ounces of pure steak. Straight from a butcher's, none at supermarket stuff, it's always good to help the small independent businesses like butchers, keep them on the high streets. Eight pound I paid for this big bad boy piece. What's on it? Well, as you can see, I've put some, well, it's half onion, chopped up, diced up into nice small pieces. And then I've put uh, five pieces of garlic chopped up in it, marinated overnight in the fridge in this bag. And then the salt, pepper, and some extra steak flavour, uh, shake, spice things. I'm so all night. So all I've been thinking about. Let's get some firewood collected. It's been raining really bad for the past day and a bit now. So starting a campfire may take me a bit longer than usual. But I know there's a dead tree over there. Now dead trees don't. Well, normally they don't soak a lot of the rainwater up like a tree. What's a live wood? So that's what we're going to have to look for, is a dead tree. And then what I'm going to have to do is probably put my tarp up if the rain continues. It's slightly windy, but most of all, let's go collect some firewood and let's get cooking. What I'm doing here is, I'm just taking the wet layer off and it'll probably hopefully cut down on all the smoke. Right, well, the fire's going nice. You've just seen me put my uh, water on the boil. Stick a little bit of oil. All of it, let's just say. 
and uh, it's my OEX frying pan, you get it with a uh, base camp gas burner but you can use a frying pan now that's what I've been waiting for to show you the size of this steak you will not be disappointed at this my hands are a little bit dirty so I don't really want to be <laughs> look at that look at the thickness there that is almost about an inch thick And I know people are going to be saying, you're making me hungry, English woodsman. Well, I hope I am. Because I'm definitely hungry. We've got garlic, onion, and on the other sides the flavours. Right, now we need to get the little handle. Somewhere in this bag of mine. Yep, there's my handle. And then we're going to get it stuck on the fire. So these flames die down a little bit more. Right, so I've put it directly on top of where most of the heat is. I know people would say let it die down a little bit. But I just... I'm so impatient. I just want to eat this one pound, 11 ounce steak. Right, so my steak's on, just cooking away very nicely. The smells are coming off onion, the garlic, obviously the meat. So, it got me thinking, Bigfoots, what's your thoughts? If they were real, and they're in woodland like they say they are, you know, condensed woodlands, massive, you know, and you were out there cooking, they'd definitely smell it, wouldn't they? All this smoke, the smell carrying through smoke, they definitely smell it. So I smell his onion. It's amazing. Beautiful. So, question is, on this video, do you believe in Bigfoots? And would you say you've seen a Bigfoot? Do comment. There's quite a lot of people that to comment now. I think we've only about 60 people always seem to comment on my videos. Between 50 to 60, I think it is. So, if you want to regular commenters, just say yes or no. Do you actually believe Bigfoots exist? What the hell's that? Oh, cobweb. So yeah, let me know, Bigfoots, yes or no. Comment below. Right, so I'm gonna try to do is turn this steak over. How do you turn such a big piece over like this without spilling anything? Right, so I've had to quickly organise the fire. I've chucked the big stone off. So I put this one under the lip of the frying pan and stacked it up there, just so the pan is off the uh, flames. It's nicely boiling, look at all that. That sort of juice is coming out. It's shrunk a little bit. I was gonna expect that. I'll tell you something. I know some of you subscribers now would be loving the smell of this. Oh, it's beautiful. We've got sound, we've got picture, we've got colour, but they've not yet quite invented smell TV. I wonder if that'll be something in the future. I doubt it, but it'd be a very interesting thing, wouldn't it? Right, well I brought you back for this. It's taking a bit too long in this frying pan. So I've used some tent pegs as like a grill idea. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna lay it on top without dropping it in the fire and burning my fingers. Oh. There we go. 
I'm using the tent pegs as a grill idea. So it's not got much more cooking to do. I just want to get like a flame grill finish at the end. Mmm, onion and garlic's gorgeous. Right, so this piece I say is nicely ready to eat. Oh yes. Let's look at that everybody. I've done it in frying pan and slightly finished off over the flame. Don't worry. We'll just put that one on that wrapper for a second. And then we'll stick this big piece. Want flames there for next. Definitely got the barbecue flavour to it. Oh. My mate Jeff Campbell and his uh, mate Blade, or Blaine, one of them, is watching now. Cheers for watching, fellas. And Jeffrey, this is something you can't come in, Nick. I say that because every time when I'm away at work, he's one of my work friends. He always goes in my rucksack at work and he nicks my dinner. Or he'll nick a chocolate bar or crisps or something. This is one thing you're not getting your hands on, Jeff. The fox has got a better chance than you, mate. Mmm. Just going to put a few onions and garlic on my plate now. Now, there was a nice comment from a gentleman the other day and he was saying I keep me videos down to earth I'm not, I, I act myself, I don't act End it there, there's no point me acting for the cameras Or the cameras should I say Yeah I mess up in what I'm saying, yeah I don't pronounce some of my words right You know I suffered from dyslexia when I was growing up I struggled really bad, you know what I mean but If I, mess, if I mess something up or if, if I talk rubbish and it's not making any sense, I'd just film and go along with it because if people really want to watch, you know, professional people stop me starting every time they mess up recording, they're going to go watch TV. I think every YouTube channel messes up, stops, starts, stops, starts. I'm just going to crack on and do what I do. So thank you for your comment. I can't remember your name. But yeah. I much appreciated that comment, it was really nice coming from you. That were on my last uh, wild camp one, stealth camping. Mm. Wow, that garlic. Whew. That is gorgeous. Oh, I haven't put my next piece back on. Right, so I'm just going to make a drink now because... The uh, garlic and the onions, especially the garlic is really strong. It's a Nescafe drink, it tastes like uh, coffee and chocolate, it's one of their uh, brands, flavours. I'm going to have to admit, I don't think I've got enough room to eat that next piece. That looks nice, doesn't it? So I bet you're thinking, what am I going to do with this next piece? Well, Mr. Fox can have it. If you're a regular to my channel, if not, hit that subscribe button now, so you will be a regular at my channel, you see me cooking stuff and camping and things like that. 
But if you are, you'll know whenever I do any cooking, I leave something for Mr. Fox. <laughs> Look at the size of that. <laughs> almost the size of my hand. I'm going to leave that for Mr. Fox. Can you believe that? It's the size of my hand almost. <laughs> Damn, Mr. Fox is going to think it's Christmas morning. Look how nice that's cooked, though. I wonder if he's watching. Hey, that's how lunatic who keeps leaving me food. Mr. Fox, this is for you, mate. See, it's a bit of a problem. I boiled the water in this. I made my coffee in it. It's way too warm to drink out of it. Oh. Wow, that edge is red hot. I'm so gonna have to let that cool down. Well, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sit back for a little bit, I'm gonna enjoy my campfire. Yeah, I seriously am giving the fox that bit of steak. Why not? Right, so I'm at the spot now where I like to leave Mr. Fox's food. We have come up for a name for this fox, aren't we? Any suggestions for the fox when I leave meat out for him? Comment below, let me know a suggestion. I'd like to call him Dave, but let's see what you lot would like to call Mr. Fox. Look at the size of that piece for him. <laughs> leave. I reckon you're going to end up paying about £5 maybe in Tesco's Lidl Aldi. For that piece, Mr. Fox gets it for no. You know, this would be a brilliant time to bring some trail cameras, wouldn't it? You know, just put them in the tree over there and just watch it. You know, uh, come round, find it and eat it. Maybe next time we do some uh, cooking in woods, I'll definitely grab my trail cameras, we'll put them up and we'll watch Mr. Fox find this meat. So we've got one, two, three. Ginormous piece, a little bit what I couldn't eat anymore really, and a minute piece there. Set my plastic bag on. Right, I'm going. Thanks very much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, uh, please subscribe and don't forget give me a name for Mr. Fox and what's your thoughts about Bigfoot so you all know. I'll see you on for another video.